Today we're going to be looking at the Ridge, the brand new all-terrain three-wheeler from Up A Baby. I've got to say, it's been a while since we were so excited to get a hold of a stroller, as not only does Up A Baby not release new models all that often, but this time around, it's a three-wheeler, one of our favorite types of strollers, and we've been very excited to see what they've done with it. So, without further ado, let's get down to it, going thoroughly over the Ridge and discussing the model's advantages and disadvantages in terms of child comfort, ease of use, performance, mechanics, and for which lifestyles and environments it will and won't be a good fit. And starting off with some stats, the Ridge clocks in at a little over 13 kilos and falls down by my measurements to 51 by 65 by 90 centimeters without removing the wheels and 32 by 55 and a half by 90 centimeters if you do remove the wheels. And it's important to pause here and soak this part in a little bit before moving on. The Ridge is a big stroller. Just that width of 65 centimeters is going to feel quite wide. And it's also a heavy stroller. That doesn't mean it's not good, mind you, but it is something to be aware of right from the outset. As far as child comfort is concerned, the Ridge, as with most three-wheelers, has generous seat dimensions, with a width of 38 centimeters and a total length of 115 centimeters, determined by adding together the lengths of the backboard, baseboard, leg rest, and space beneath the canopy, which is not as large as on some models, but still sufficient to carry your child all the way through their stroller days. The model has a near full recline, but no adjustable leg rest, though the slope is still sufficiently shallow to provide a comfortable position for naps. And unlike some three-wheelers, the Ridge also has a good, near vertical upright position, provided that you pull the adjustment strap as tight as possible. The seat is not built for newborns, but the model is compatible either with a car seat or a bassinet. When it comes to the textiles, they feel pretty standard for an up -a baby stroller, both well padded and durable, and the canopy is also extendable providing decent sun coverage in terms of its length, though I do wish that there was a flap over the rear mesh peekaboo window. The seat textiles are attached to the frame via eyelets and pegs, as opposed to push buttons, which is good, as push buttons on three-wheelers often tend to weaken over time when used with heavier children. But negatively, the back and baseboards are not removable, meaning that the textiles will need to be hand-washed for the most part, since the backboard in particular is too large to fit in most washing machines. When it comes to parent comfort, the Ridge has an adjustable handle with a decent range, between 101 and 118 centimeters, making it suitable for both short and tall parents alike. And like Up A Baby's four-wheelers, the model also has an excellent shopping basket, large and sturdy, and most importantly, easily accessible via the way it extends off the rear frame, which is rare for three-wheelers, and gives the model real utility for carting both picnic or camping gear in nature environments, and also makes a stroller a great rough-roading grocery hauler for places with tougher winters. It's also closable, a must for jogging, to keep your stuff from bumping out when moving at speed. As far as folding is concerned, the Ridge has a simple one-hand, one-step fold, located under the leg rest, though when folded down, as I already mentioned, the model is quite large and heavy, and will require significant trunk space if you want to avoid removing the wheels, which, while easy enough, is not something everyone likes to do for hygiene reasons, and also exposes the brake disc to prudential damage. In terms of the general feel of the model, the Ridge is a wonderfully sturdy stroller, with all the components tight and well-fitted, and no looseness in any of the joints, at least right out of the box. Similarly, all of the activation mechanisms on the model are simple and intuitive to use, and also feel well-fitted, without looseness in the buttons and pedals and so on. When it comes to driving, the combination of that dependable chassis, amazing suspension, and large wheel size make this a model that you can really drive everywhere, designed both for rougher hiking trails as well as the city. And for jogging, the Ridge's dynamic handbrake and adjustable tilt are also quite nice, though if you plan to use the model for jogging long term, there are a couple of smaller elements in the front frame that are somewhat susceptible to wear and may need to be replaced down the line, that we'll discuss in more detail in a little bit. Alright, let's move on to the mechanics of the Ridge, looking first at the overall structure, where Up A Baby has played it safe, going for what has become a dominant design among three-wheelers that maximizes structural efficiency, that I first noticed on mountain buggy models, but that is, at this point, also common with Thula and Bob, and a few other manufacturers as well, with the main principle being essentially to form a structurally tight, right-angled triangle out of the core of the chassis, that comes together at the front end, and is supported with strong horizontal crossbars, both on the rear frame as well as with the handle and a secondary crossbar below the height adjustment mechanisms to preserve the integrity of those mechanisms from the pressure of steering. This is a very strong structure, and older mountain buggy models built along the same lines are still out there, functioning well for going on two decades at this point. 
As far as folding goes, Upper Baby has also followed the common trend of placing their folding mechanism just above the front end, with the activation mechanism directly adjacent to the locking points, allowing the whole system to be built as sturdily and simply as possible with a minimum of internal components in direct opposition to the complexity needed, for example, when locating the activation mechanism for the fold on the handle. Moving down to the Ridge's rear frame, the first thing to point out is the suspension built into the rear legs, where Upper Baby has done it again, and just as with the Vista and Cruise V2 models, the Ridge's shock absorption has been measured perfectly, and the model feels great going up and over obstacles. As far as the brake system is concerned, the Ridge is quite complicated, with both a pedal-activated static brake and a handle-mounted dynamic brake, which connects to brake discs on the wheels through a gear teeth setup that allows it to function while still keeping the wheels easy to remove. Upper Baby has split the wire here to get to both sides, which in my experience does often lead to problems with keeping the tension symmetrical, though using a disc as opposed to a drum system will make the wire more receptive to fine tuning via its three adjustment screws. As far as the rear wheels are concerned, the rims and foam filled tires are solid, but I do worry a little bit about both the fact that the locking mechanisms for the wheels are contained within the axles, as I've seen a lot of situations where this sort of setup can have problems if the inner components rust or the axles get bent slightly, inhibiting those components from moving. And I'm also a little concerned with the actual housings themselves, since they protrude separately away from the crossbar at the point where the wheels connect, making them less protected against heavy strain. And they also contain a bit too many components in my opinion for there not to be some sort of problem in the future. Not that it will necessarily be something major and not that it will affect every user, but even if all the elements and systems on the rear frame are built with absolute precision, and I'm definitely willing to give up a baby the benefit of the doubt here, the fact that we're talking about two brake systems that will need regular adjustment and lubrication, brake discs exposed to bending or getting nicked with the wheels off, and off-center housings containing the channels for the axles that will have to hold up against hard pressure, do wave a little bit of a red flag for me, as an area of the stroller that you should at least keep your eye on and do proper tightening and lubrication with if you get this model. Looking lastly at the front end, the Ridge of course has an appropriately large 12 inch front wheel, but unfortunately lacks suspension in the fork. Overall, the housing is a bulked up and reinforced version of what is found on the Vista, with the addition of a dial for adjusting tilt. The fork axle fits quite tightly within the housing, and I generally don't anticipate any looseness or wobble problems within the first few years from walking and hiking with the Ridge. However, that tight connection is achieved partly due to a ball bearing, as well as via small pressure bumps on the plastic cap fitted over that bearing. And both of these components are things that will wear down and loosen in the case of the bearing pretty hard if you really push the Ridge with off-road jogging. That being said, both of these elements are pretty easy to remove and ought to be easily replaceable, providing that Upper Baby makes parts available. Though, the fact that the axle is flush within the bearing makes lubricating with a thicker lubricant absolutely crucial for keeping the axle from rusting within the housing, which would make it near impossible to replace these components if needed. So, do I recommend getting the Ridge then? Yes, absolutely. Despite a few smaller hiccups in the model's design, I find the Ridge to be a very solid all-terrain three-wheeler, with some highly desirable characteristics in comparison to other three-wheelers on the current market. In particular, the great suspension, the large and accessible shopping basket, the near-vertical upright seat position, and the disc-type dynamic handbrake. That being said, the Ridge is definitely not for every lifestyle and environment. Being aware of its size and weight are very important before purchasing, and in my opinion, this model is really only for parents who don't use a car all that often, and who live, or will stroll, in places where they really need the model's terrain capability. So rough, generally rural conditions, hiking, or parts of the world where it snows a lot. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.